In this video, we'll see how to change the row height of one row or more than one row itself. So what can we do is I've taken an example here. Normally without the macros, how do we change the row height is we just keep our cursor at this place within the row headings and then we maximize or minimize this way. We keep on extending so the row height increases. That is one method. Or the second method is I can use a macro coding part. Okay, with the help of that macro, I can just change it. So please observe the name of the sheet is row height. Excel VBA is the file name and I have some data given here. So I'll go back to the macro part in the VBA editor. I'll go back to VBA editor. Okay. So these are the names of the sheet. First I'll minimize this names of the sheet. I don't want. Okay. And if you see that's the last model which is given as row height u underscore row height. And for that I've written a sub procedure sub row height and I've written some uh, statements here some command macro. Let me explain you one by one what I exactly I'm trying to say. If I want to change the row height of cell number A1 range that is A1 dot row height equal to 100. So what will happen is for this range A1 the entire row height will become 100 that size will be as 100. So let's see now if I execute that if I press F8 from my keyboard F8 now you see the size will become as 100 you see that has become as 100. Now again if I say A1 to A5 this was for only one row. But if I want to maximize for more than one row, let's say for example range A1 to A5 dot row height equal to 10. So this is for multiple rows. This is for just one single cell that is given here. Now if I keep on pressing F8, the row height will change from 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 and so on. If I press F8, observe right now from A1 to A5, 5 rows, A1 to A5 row height is 10. Again if I press F8 from my keyboard, F8, F8 and you can see the row height is changing again. Now it is 40. If I press F8, it will become as 50 again. This was one method for changing the row heights of multiple rows. There's one more method if you see here that's given as range A1 to A5 dot rows dot row height equal to 10, 20, 30. So first method, second method, whichever you think is easy and method to you can use it that one. So again, it says row height. So again, it will say as 10, 20, 30. I can click on this step into and same way right now the value is 10 for the row height. Again, if I click on step into, step into, step into, the value keeps on changing automatically. And finally, I'll come to this place. Now, if you want to make it as auto fit, the row height should be auto fit based on the contents of the cell. So you can use this range A1 to A5 dot rows dot auto fit. So all the cells will become as auto fit in the row height cell. Now you can observe here, if I press F8, these are auto fit. That is the only space they need for that particular text. And finally, I'll just come out of this sub proceed itself, right? So I hope you're able to understand how to change the row height, increase, decrease, and also make into auto fit using the Excel macros VBA. That's all for this video.